Number 13. A. A car has a uh, a car speedometer has a 5% uncertainty. What is the range of possible speeds when it reads 90 kilometers per hour? All right. So um, basically uncertainty means, right, that um, we're unsure of our measurement, right? And we're unsure either plus 5% or minus 5%. So remember, uncertainty always comes along with this plus or minus value. So if I were to write out, um, uh, let's just say a simple equation that represented the measured speed and the uncertainty, it would look something like this. So we would write down 90 kilometers per hour plus or minus 5.0%. Okay, this would be the uh, measured value, including the uncertainty. So here is the measured, S-U-R-E-D, measured value, and here is the uncertainty. Okay, so first question is, well, 5%, that's great, that's the uncertainty, but 5% of what? Right, percents are always of something. So 5% of the measurement, that's what they're talking about. All right, so now when it says, Back to the question, what is the range of possible speeds? Well, it looks like now we actually have to calculate 5% of 90 because we need to give the range. So let's write that down. So I'm going to write it right beneath. So there's going to be 90 kilometers per hour, right? Plus or minus 5%, oops, 5.0% of 90. Okay, great. Now I can simply calculate this on out, right? Just take that. I'm going to rewrite it. Just take it, though, and plug it into your calculator. So plus or minus. So we have 0 0.05. Remember, when you multiply by percents, you have to convert it to dec the decimal. Just move the decimal point two places to the left. And then take that percent uh, and the decimal form that is 0 0.05 multiplied by 90. And that should come out to a value of 4.5. So... Here's now the new uncertainty with units of kilometers per hour, right? Before it was just a percent value, right? So even being, um, even being a little, let's say, uh, more clear here, what I'll do is let me just erase this parenthesis there. And let me actually plug in the units, right? Because it's really 90 kilometers per hour. So that's how you can clearly see now how we got to the units here. Okay, then it says just give the range. Now this could be an acceptable answer that I boxed in, but if they actually wanted the upper limit and the lower limit, all we would have to do is break this equation up into two parts. Okay, both the plus and the minus. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write 90 kilometers per hour plus 4.5 kilometers per hour. And since the units are the same, I can simply add it. Right, so the upper limit of the uncertainty will be 94 0.5 kilometers per hour. Okay, wonderful. And then the lower limit would be 90 kilometers per hour minus 4.5 kilometers per hour. Right, and that should now work out to be 85.5 um, kilometers per hour. Okay, so that's, here's the upper limit and here is the lower lower limit. Okay, so that's great. That should be a complete answer uh, to letter A. So this was A. And now let's take a look at part B. So it says, part B, convert this range to miles per hour. Great. So basically what I have to do is I'm looking to do two conversions, right? I have to convert this value here, the upper um, value to miles per hour, and then convert the lower value to miles per hour. Okay, so let's do that. So let's write down 94.5 kilometers per hour. We have to convert that into miles per hour. So I like to think about it as a three-step process, but we really only have to do one step, right? Convert kilometers to miles, that would be the first. The second step would be to convert hours into the unit of time in our answer, uh, but they're the same, right? So we don't, we don't even have to do this step two, right? And then step three would have been to divide the numerator by the denominator. So we don't have to do anything past the first step. 
So just take 94.5 kilometers, kilometers on the bottom, miles on the top, and they gave us the ratio, the relationship, right? If you look back in the problem, it said one kilometer is equal to 0.6214 uh, miles. So one kilometer, 0 0.6214 kilometers cancel. Just take that and plug it into the calculator. So 94.5 times 0.6214, great. You get a value, I'm gonna round slightly of 58.7 miles per hour. Okay, that's the upper limit. And then the second part now was going to be to take the 85.5 kilometers per hour and convert that into miles per hour. And so let's take 85.5 kilometers, same process, kilometers on the bottom, miles on the top, plug in the numbers, 6214, kilometers cancel, simply do the math now, so 85.5 times 0 0.6214, 53.5 53 miles per hour. And there is the lower limit now. Okay, so we have our upper limit of 58.7 miles per hour, and we have the lower limit of 53.1 miles per hour, and that would be the range. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Remember, if this helps you at all, please subscribe. Thank you.